first class market can be full of noise. The movement is very, very hard to predict. Our job is to try to distill the signal out of this chaos. Using latest statistical modeling technique, to try to find patterns that are repeatable that we can turn into profitable trading strategy. Quantitative finance is very much a mixing of academic ideas and the real world. The process that takes an idea to an actual strategy is a very systematic and measured one. Asia is about trying to pull together a bunch of people who are passionate about making money in the market, trying to build successful trading strategies and being efficient about getting the best price. This is a team-based approach, it's not based on one individual. AHL wants to try and partner with a leading research university. The idea was that the commercial researchers would be in the research lab, which would be embedded in the institute, and it would actually bring the commercial and the academic together in the same place. We ended up building the Oxford Man Institute and the Man Research Laboratory. One way that OMI has really changed the landscape is the way that it has been able to fund brilliant young researchers from around the world. We have some of the very best from China, some of the very best from Europe, and some of the very best from Africa, able to come here and work, developing their disciplinary excellence and also being aware and learning how these excellences fit together to do significant things in quantitative finance. What is innovative about OMI is that it is an interdisciplinary research institute which by itself is remarkable. It is very difficult to put together. On top of that, OMI has succeeded in setting up a very unique collaboration between science and practice. There is just a very genuine interaction between us and them. We exchange ideas at a very casual uh, level and then these ideas gradually become papers and projects and this is how you push the frontier in the development of quantitative finance. Over the course of the last few years, what we've seen is that ideas based on market microstructure research, those have informed the development of algorithms to the extent that the majority of our futures trades are actually executed using algorithms that we've built ourselves. The process that takes an idea from just being an idea to an actual strategy is a very systematic and measured one. Really what's at the core of this is to make sure that a pattern that you've seen is not just noise, but that it's actually something that recurs in the markets and that you can profit from. We would start with the pure simulation of a strategy, of a thought, of a mathematical trading model with historical data. When you think that you found something, you found a signal that has some predictability for the markets, what you then do is go to paper trading, where you record prices of trades as though you had done them. And if that goes well, you would then go to test trading. Test trading means that we actually invest our own money to see if a strategy works with real money. Then you can finally go to client trading and you feed it in there and then you slowly, as it succeeds, grow it in size. The way that a trade is produced is that our system collects data from all of the world's major exchanges. We will select a sample of markets to trade. The trading system will look at the current position that we have and look at the optimum position that we should be holding. If there's a difference between the two, then a trade is produced. After the trade is produced, it's either executed by the team of traders in London or in Hong Kong, or by VTrader, a virtual trading system. Typically, we'll trade about 2,000, 2,500 times per day. That could be anything between five and $15 billion. People refer to our kind of trading as black box trading. Rather than a black box, what we do is an open system. It's a very transparent system to us. We know what is inside. Yes, the system is implemented in computers, but ultimately what these computers do, they do according to the rules that we have formulated. For me, the Asia philosophy is about um, understanding market uh, movement and finding the patterns that are repeatable that we can turn into profitable trading strategy. In order to maintain your edge, you need to keep pushing the research. That's what we've been doing for the last two decades. That's what makes me proud to work in IHL.
I think I've got the best job in the world. At AHL, we're one of the most innovative firms around. We trade some of the most exciting markets. You can make change happen every day. I believe for our investor, it is a very sustainable way of investing in a program that will continue to improve and continue to evolve.